to the first episode of Decade vs Decade filmed for the second time because of I just got done filming it and went to edit and I don't know and I know I hit record because I saw the timestamp like the recording so I don't know what the fuck happened to it so yay um, so Decade vs Decade is pretty much where I get a f get movies from each decade so 1960s to 2010s and I watch them and then pretty much make a list of I guess list out of those six films in order from favourite to least favourite. Um, I say favourite to least favourite. This isn't the best because then obviously it is a different kind of list. And also understand people do not know the term or definition of opinion. This is my opinion, not yours. You can give your opinion down below, but really we all know how half of these kind of things people are like, is that your opinion? And we go, you're such an idiot, and we go, that's wrong. And it's like, how can my opinion be wrong? It's my opinion. So calm your farm if you're one of those people. <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, um, comment below what your favourite ones of these are. Um, and yeah, at the end of this, I also will be telling you what the films for my next episode will be. So even then, you can give me your list, and I'll tally it up and throw it into the next episode on... <clears throat> want a list because the lists I've got are my favourite list and then I've got IMBD. I wasn't going to do IMBD but I thought it would be interesting to tally up on what has the most votes off IMBD or ratings off IM sorry ratings off IMBD because uh, IMBD isn't the horror community isn't just the horror community it's a whole range of it's just your um I guess yeah everyday average Joe um you know, their views and what things are, so I thought that would be quite interesting. And then the third list I'll talk about at the end of it is um, the horror community. So pretty much I do it on, I threw it up on like 22 Shots of Moods and Horror. There's, that's where I put one of the list questions, Instagram and YouTube. So out of all those three, I'll get get everybody's um, <coughs> list, tally them up, and then the list is there. So anyway, let's get started up against each other were Get Out from 2017, 28 Days Later from 2002, Scream from 1996, The Shining from 1980, The Exorcist from 1973, and Psycho from 1960. Stuck into my first one. So coming in at number one <coughs> is The Exorcist, which was directed by William Fra Frankenden, Fredkin, um, writer William Peter Blatley, um, made in the year 1973, and I give it a 10 out of 10. I'm not going to go into great detail. One movie I probably will, maybe I might sort of talk about it, but apart from that, I'm not going to go into a big review. So, coming at number two is Get Out, by, written and directed by Jordan Peele, made in the year 2017, and I give it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> coming at number three is Scream, so written, sorry, not written, directed by Wes Craven, written by Kevin Williamson, was mainly in 1996, and I give it a 10 out of 10. Um, this list was a bit hard to do because you know, gonna, it's, it's so many good movies on there. I forgot to tell you what the list of movies were, but oh well. Um, anyway, so coming at number four is Psycho, which was directed by Alfred Hitchcock, written by Joseph Stefan, mainly in 1960, and I give it a 10 out of 10. Coming at number six, this is where I'm going to get a lot of hate. And this film, because oh, I've read the book and I just, just fuck the mother. The streets, just the mother is totally different to the book. In the book, she's a Wendy Torrance is a strong, independent woman. In in the movie, she's just a babbling mess. And for me, her performance, I really don't like the performance. And who was with the city? Um. So yeah, but yeah, obviously number coming number five is The Shining. Um, so it was directed by Stanley Kubrick, written by Stanley Kubrick, made in 1980, I give it 
And last of all, coming at number six, is 28 Days Later by Danny Boyle, written by Alex Garland, and made in the year 2002. And I give it a 6.5 out of 10. Um, yeah, I guess I'm not the biggest fan of infected film, but zombie films, but it's a good one to check out now. But I will give a review on that one. I will make a review. Um, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> in my last video I did. <laughs> sorry. Um, it pretty much in my last video, I did say the films first up. I will do that next time. I will say what films are up on the thing. Um, I might edit that in actually. I'll make a little clip of what films and then I'll chuck them in the front of it. So, yeah. Besides getting a bit weird, that's why. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I'll go through it. Uh, sorry, I'll go through that again. So, my number one was Exorcist. Number two was Get Out, number three, Scream, four, Psycho, five, Shining, and six, 28 Days Later. So yes, and now we're going to go into the wonderful world of IMBD. IMBD is definitely weird with their ratings, especially when it comes to the horror films, we all know, but I thought it would be good to get a, um, I guess a modern, a modern, oh, I can't think of the one I'm looking for, but you'll understand what I am, you know, understand where I'm coming from. So, coming at number one is Psycho, two, The Shining, three, The Exorcist, four, Get Out, five, 28 Days Later, and six, Scream. Yeah, as you can see, it's very odd. <laughs> so, it's a bit weird. I, I am BD's weird, but you know. I like how all these, like mine, IMBD, and in the Horror Community ones, the lists are different, which is quite good. Anyway, so coming in for the Horror Community's one, number one, of course, is going to be The Shining, number two, The Exorcist, three, Scream, four, Psycho, five, 28 Days Later, and six, Get Out. So quite a different um, variety of opinions there, which is actually good. Alright. Now, for next week. So next week, what are we doing next week? <laughs> well, not really next week, but probably next week or next episode. So episode two, comment below your favorite to least favorite. And here are the um, here are the movies. It follows, Saw, Tremors, The Evil Dead, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So uh, here are the um, picks for next week. We've got It Follows from 2014. Saw from 2004, Tremors from 1990, The Evil Dead from 1981, Texas, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 1974, and Black Sunday from 1960. So there's only one more on that list I've got to watch, which is Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which will probably be up either today or tomorrow I'll watch it. And then I can give you start playing that video. Anyway, um, comment below what I should do differently next time. This course video is going to be a bit different because it is the second time I filmed it. But any hints, tips, tricks, you, or layouts that you think would work better for this film, let me know and I'll probably try to, you know, because I feel a bit, I don't know, I feel the video is not perfect. Well, it's never going to be perfect. It's made on the reviews. It's never going to be perfect. But I just feel the same missing. And I don't know if it's more, if I should go more into detail of these films. If you want me to go more into details of these films, let me know. Um, if I should talk, try the trailer and talk over it. I might be a good way of doing it too, but you should do that one. I do yeah. I might try that for the next one, have the trailer up and talk through the trailer and we'll see how it goes. And yeah. Anyway, um comment below what you reckon I should show the trailer and sort of talk through all clips of the film and talk through, over it, voice over it. Um and yeah, any other ideas, um, you know, let me know. Alright, I'll see you all later. Hopefully I'm not gonna do this for the third time. It's better go up. Alright, bye.